Hi guys, it's Steve here at Steve's RC Shop and RC Winches in Leicester. Uh, we've been working on a new twin motor winch now for quite a while, so I'm going to demonstrate that to you in a second when I've tried to work out how to edit two videos together. Um, but we've been buying some winches in uh, from a supplier. They look very similar to that on eBay. Uh, you can get them off eBay for cheap and I know people who've bought them and within minutes have broken them. Uh, it's one that we sell quite a lot of because the, the actual image of it looks quite good. There's a lot of twin motor winches available and this is one that we decided that because of, of how it looks after we've done a few bits to it, uh, it, it kind of looks the part and it's, it's adjustable here, there and everywhere. So, right. so. Just to talk you through it guys, before we actually show you the uh, the video of it on a truck and work in. What, what we do is when we get them in, is they get completely stripped down to every single part. And what we do is all the bolts that are fitted in them, yeah, they go in the bin. The motors and gearboxes that are fitted in them, we take them out, yeah, we chuck them to one side. Um, so we rebuild them then with heavy duty motor and gearboxes, reassemble them uh, with all stainless bolts, this stupid, just drops it on the floor, this horrible steel winch line and little hook here, that goes, got a couple of options, we can put two meters of uh, one millimeter SK78 Dyneema uh, which has got 171 kilo braking strain so it's going to break the winch before it breaks the rope, but you can nicely get two meters on there. We replace the hose here with an SSD hose instead of these stupid things here that look like Godzilla's mouth. And to be honest, they're not polished inside either. So as you, your line's going through there, it's going to get snagged and worn. Uh, put a nice hook on. And then we test them. So uh, we've popped one of these now fully built onto uh, one of our TRX4s, uh, which uh, hopefully we'll get through to in a second. Right, so hopefully these videos have stitched themselves together. Um, this is a new thing for me being honest, so bear with me. Uh, okay, so there is one of my TRX4s down there. Uh, that is just under five kilos, but we've had these winches on higher. So basically it's a twin motor winch. Um, it is rated at a minimum. Uh, we, we've had a bit, a bit higher, but I'm not going to say what it is. So just, just to cover ourselves, uh, we're looking at a deadlift of five kilos and rolling drag somewhere around about eight and a half kilos. So when you compare it with other twin motors out there, for the price, uh, it, it's not a bad piece of kit. So uh, what we're going to do now is we've got the hook up there on the ceiling and we're just going to take it up to the top and it helps if I actually winch in the right way so the uh, the rope that we've got on there we've actually managed to get three meters of Kevlar rope on there the rope that's on there will actually hold a bag of cement so you know you've got no worries about actual strength with the rope it's going through an aluminium fair lead hose on the front so there's no uh, abrasive rubbing or it's not going to get snatched in rollers i'm just going to keep it going and going and going until it hits all the way up to the top and as i take my hand off the button okay the controller that we're using has got a 100 percent drag brake on so ideally when you're winching and you're winching up a hill yeah, when you take your hand off the button, you want to be able to hold your vehicle there as opposed to some controllers will not hold the electrics in place and it will allow it to slip back. So it's kind of got like a built-in drag brake. So we can lay that down again. Naturally, it's going to come down a bit faster than it's going to go up. And I'm just going to hold it there again. I'm just going to push on it now as well. So I suppose it's a bit hard to tell in reality from the video how hard I'm pushing, but um, they, they fit on nicely on some bumpers. 
Uh, we actually have to, on this one, countersink the uh, the bumper at the bottom and put counter he uh, countersunk headed screws in just so it doesn't hit the um, the post or the cylinders. So uh, we'll go back up again. And these things we've tested and tested and tested and tested, not only in here, uh, but we've, we've, we've got a, a, a small facility not far away where we actually put block weights on them and load them. But that winch will get you out of pretty much any situation. So thanks for watching guys. My email is on there if you want to speak to me at all. Um, rcwinches at aol.com or uh, give me a call. Right guys.